praise and worship night. So get ready to have like so ang um, ako ingon karon is this this night we're gonna be um receiving um a word about praise and worship and what is praise, what is worship, what it means to worship and we're gonna have like this time of kanang condensed bitaw na praise and worship and so get ready no uh, prepare your hearts to praise and worship God expect no expect to receive from God this evening are you prepared to receive from God this evening church come on let's praise him hallelujah Oh, we praise you, Lord. Woo. Hey. Come on. Dance. Dance. I'll praise in the valley, praise on the mountains. I'll praise when I'm sure, praise when I'm doubting. I'll praise when I'm numbered, praise when surrounded. His praise is the waters, my enemies drowning. Come on! As long as I'm breathing, I've got a reason to pray. I know you're still in control Cause my praise is a weapon It's more than a sound, more than a sound And my praise is the shout That brings Jericho down, yeah Come on, sing it! As long as I'm breathing I've got a reason to pray
a wonderful time oh God to be in your presence hallelujah we rejoice in you God we worship you and we praise you oh God just the God who is sovereign because you reign because you rose up and died for us oh God the God oh God that you were back then oh God and it's the God that you are now you never change and that's why we trust you, we worship you, we adore you, and we love you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, we worship you. Yes, Lord, we honor you, O oh God, this evening, O oh God. Yes, Lord, it's in our desires, O oh God, to worship you. Because of who you are, I 
Lord. We worship you, oh God, because we remember, oh God, that you never change, oh God. You never change, oh God. You're good, oh God. You are good now, God, and you always be good. You're the only one who is worthy, oh God. Today, oh God, we honor you and we worship you. We love you, oh God. We love you so much. Let's just sing because of who you are. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. And Lord, I worship you because of who you are. And I will worship you because give you all the glory and we give you all the honor and all the praise. Jesus name. Amen. Okay, sa tanan. Good evening. Welcome sa atong last night culmination nights of worship. Atong pakpakan si Lord. So what we are going to do? What we are going to do tonight? Uh, we have three sets of uh, praise and worship, and uh, sa gitna anak ngisong we will be learning why we worship because you no know, every Sunday ako magobserve ko dito sa luyo ang Ban, mupakpak, murag anak lang, no? joyful na kay ang sounds, dahil ang mga tao, anak lang, dahil dili kakiay, pero kung disco sa una, grabe mo kiay, kasi mo admit, be? no, disco sa una, grabe mo kiay, no, napay igwad pa kay iyang lubot, no, pero sa simbahan, anak lang siya, maulaw siya, no, maabot sa atong level, na dili na ta maulaw, na when it comes to praising and worshiping the Lord, Amen? Amen. So, kinsa dere excited na maglearn ta about about praise and worship. Nganong musayaw ta, naabli sa Bible, nganong na may instruments, pwede ra man ta nga magworship wala instruments, no? So, uh, bear with us because we uh, sa family gina-prepare na namo ni para kita tanan ma-educate ta mga igsoon. Amen. So, before that, I would like to, for you guys, open your Bibles to Proverbs 20, verse 24, sa NLT version. So, this is a, ano ni siya, mga igsoon, uh, uh, pangkati, pangkati. No? Okay, Proverbs 20, verse uh, 24, sa NLT. Okay, flash po, kung nana. Uh, okay. The Lord, okay, ano na lang, atong dunganan. One, two, three, go. Ingnam ketapat, bitaw. The Lord directs our steps. So why try to understand everything along the way? No, kung may ngunta may ngunta na si Lord ang atong director, but pa sabot, dili ikaw ang director sa mong kinabuhi. Dili imong pamilya, dili imong trabaho, dili imong negosyo. Or of course, dili ikaw, dili pod ang imong ang imong ano, ang imong saba, imong profession. So kung kita manggod magbuot-buot ta sa Ginoo, 
hindi na ito masabtan, hindi ito kasabot. But if we allow the Lord to direct our steps, then successful, and then nindot ang dagan sa itong kinabuhi. Amen. So, ang Lord, si Lord o ang pulong, usara na siya, no, in si parable. Kung ang word, no, ang word o si Lord mismo, dili na siya mo separate. Mo nang ingon ang Bible, He put His word above His name. No? So, ang ngalan or ang pulong sa ginoo, gipalabaw pa na, gipalabaw pa na sa ginoo, sa iyang kaugalingon. So, but pa sa but, kung i-allow na to, mo direct si Lord o iyang pulong, eh, nindot kayong dagan sa itong kinabuhi. No? So, yung name katapad, why try to understand everything along the way? Yung na, sige. Pikpika po, ang uban, wala yung giingon. So, why understand? Nganong, no? Nganong, mapugson man ni magsabot na, nganong man ni Lord, nganong man ni, lagi kong kasabot, ani akong kinabuhi, wala yung kasabot na inani akong, akong trabaho, wala yung kasabot na inani akong pamilya. Okay, why? Because you allow yourself to be director of your, over your lives. So tonight, mga Ikson, we will be learning, uh, coming from the Word of God, allowing the Word to really direct our steps when it comes to praise and worship. Okay, tonight, okay, welcome everyone sa atong winds of worship. Pakpakan na itong ginoo. Winds of worship. Unsay bisaya sa winds of worship. Mga hangin sa pagdaig. No? Dili hanginon sa pagdaig. No? Ang hanginon, kay lahi mo ng hanginon. Okay, basin maano ka ba, ma panuhot. Okay, so karon may ikson. Humana para makumplito itong first set. And uh, allow me, allow me may ikson to really uh, introduce to you the first uh, lecturer na to may ikson. And di lang ni bago sa to ah. Karaan na ni siya, bata nga karaan. And we will be learning kay ako siyang gikuan, kay musician manggod siya. No, uh, nasa sa instruments and then and of course, makita na ito ang foundation. Nga nung kita uh, magdaig man ta with instruments. Nga nung kinahanglan ng drums, ang ubang simbahan, nga nung hymnal man sila. No? Dili man po sila sa iyo. Pero according sa Bible, let us praise Him with instruments. So help us welcome kay proud kay Kunya ni Maigson. Mas kwapo pa ni sa kwa, si Choy Choy. Uh, okay. So, 15 minutes, basin one hour iyang ka nun. Pakpaka na tong gino. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, hello. Sugay. So, um, I'm gonna share sa word, um, praise Him with instruments. But first, um, na ako'y basahon nga, nga verse para masabtan yun ninyo eh. And first na ako'y ipa ipa I mean, itulok sa inyo is about sa praise. So, nadari sa Psalms 150, verse 1 to 5. So, so, nadari, so praise the Lord. Shagit daw. Praise the Lord. Na, param na sa idol. <laughs> Shagit pa. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so, so, ato, praise the Lord, praise God in His sanctuary, praise Him in His mighty firmament, praise Him in His mighty acts, praise Him according to His excellent greatness, praise Him with the sound of the trumpet, praise Him with the lute and harp, praise Him with stringed instrument and flutes, praise Him with loud cymbals, praise Him with clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. So, kinsay gaginhawa? Oh, praise the Lord! Amen. Good job. So, Nadri, ang meaning sa praise, na, gi-search kininaw siya ganina, no? And praise refers to lifting God up. It is the joyful re recounting of what God has done for us. Praise and thanksgiving go hand in hand as thank thanking God and offer appreciation for who, I who, for who He is. Praise and acknowledging of all the wonder, wonderful right righteous deeds of God. He is worthy of praise. So, kinsa may nagtood rin nga, worthy good si Lord sa atong pagdaig. Amen. So, na, na ako yung mga verse nga gipang, um, gipang kalot da yun. Ako ay share sa inyo, sa Psalms 34, 3, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us lift him, let us lift up his name together. So, what do you mean by together? Kita tanan as church, um, 
No, we are we are here not to just listen, not to just um um moto gi post ni ni Pastor Vlad ganina nga we are not here to just get the word but we, we are here to know the author. So we are we are here para makabaluta kung unsay rason sa tong pagpraise na tay rason ba para mo praise ta and let us lift his name up together. So nadri sa James 5:13 is anyone among you suffering he must be he must he must pray. Is anyone joyful he is to sing praises to God. So kinsa may malipayon dire? Kamayor eh sige nya ta. So kinsa malipayon? Praise the Lord. So, now it is the Psalms 147.1. Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our gracious and majestic God. Praise Him is praise is becoming and, and appropriate. So, praising is like giving God a chair or a throne. So, kinsa man, example, ako, muhatag ko bangko nga putol. Kung, na, kung palingkuro na ako si pastor, Makalingkod ba siyag tarong, di ba, dili? So, ang akong praise, mura di siyag, mura ka gahatag sa yaog ka ng, mura, mura ka honor ka niya by, by praising him bitaw, imo siyang hatagan sa pinakaayos nga throne, pinakaayos nga bangko, and, muna yung imong pag-express sa yaa, and, and mura bitaw, imo siyang palingkuron dira kay, wala lang, you want to praise him because, dira na dahil padulong atong topic. When you praise in the midst of what we are going through, we are giving an invitation for God to come into our problems. So, nama, kita mong kita na no, na problema, di magigit siya malikayan, um, dili kakaingon nga, Christian man ko, dapat wala ko'y problema. Naimot ang Christian, kay tungod, need na to si God, kay natay problema. Mo na ang logic nga, dapat atong kwaon nga. It doesn't mean we are Christian, wala natay problema. It doesn't mean we are Christian perfecta. We are Christian because we are suffering but we need God. Mo nang Christian ta. We need to follow Him. We need to praise Him. We need to worship Him. So, na yung mga key points dire. So, number one, who to praise? Ignay yung katapad, kinsa. Kinsa. Kinsa siya. So, the command is clear. Sa Psalms 150, verse 1, praise the Lord. Ignay yung katapad, praise the Lord. So, your praise depends on who God is in your life. So, um, para sa ako ano, um, grabe, kung, kung mag-testimony bitaw ko about sa among life, and daghay, daghay, daghay mga witness nga nakabalupod even sa, sa akong family na dili, dili may inani sa una, and makita gyud na mo ba, and makita po na mo o giyon sa mini Lord, and sa among praise, and Pagaw man, um, who is Lord sa imo ah? So, nadri, sa katong gingon pa ni Pastor, no, marag, Tuesday man nata to, nga, ang plant, gikan siya sa soil. Kung, pag story ni Lord, nga, gimo siya sa, sa universe, nag, sa earth, ana siya nga, pag, pag story niya sa soil, na ay plants ni grow. Pag story niya sa water, na ay fish ni grow. Pag ingon niya nga, let us create in our own kindness, ay, kindness? Ah, mo lagi. So, mo to nga, nga kanang kanang pagingon ni Lord nga kanang kanang am um, pagingon ni Lord saya nga mura bitaw gikan ta saya ah, so we cannot live without him kay ang isda dili siya ma dili siya mabuhi kung walay water ang plan kung i kung imo siyang i disconnect sa 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 soil mamatay gyud siya so everybody praises something no, daghan kayo tay i-praise ato ang Facebook, ato ang Instagram, ato ang mga K-pop idol, ato ang mga mga celebrity idol. Why not praise someone who made you or asa kagikan? No? Kita na koy migo nga kanang gwapo ba? No? Um ganan gid ko nga moingon gid ko siya gwapo, pero dili na koy ang dili na koy ingon yang pangalan kay basig masuko si Yuri. <laughs> so muna no um, kita kanang makabalo gid ta namang gid sa tong life nga naay mo praise ato am naay naay mo acknowledge ato naay mo ala yusa ni mo ay gwapuhan ni mo gwapahan ni mo inay mo katapad gwapo gwapa ka 
Grabe gid. So, kanang no, we we have that feeling nga uh, if we, if naay mo praise ato uh, lamig gid siya sa feeling no. So, we need to make him God into our lives. So, we deserve all of he deserve uh, he deserves all of our praises. He is Lord. You cannot change that. Dili man sa ingon nga ah dili man ako siya Lord. Kung dili ni mo siya Lord, Lord gihapon siya. He doesn't change. He doesn't change. So, so imong believe, imong belief kang Lord doesn't change God. It changes you. Kung maura na dira ra tama ni mong belief, dili na, na mo change kang God. Say mo ara na say, say mo ana na mo change. It's it's you who will change. Kung maura na dira ra tama ni mong belief, dira ra tama pud imong praise sa iya. Kay fit sample ako ang akong nebal ano ni Lord kay nag kay ni wala ka siya sa water. Dayon. Mora. Mora na imong nabalan, mora na nabalan nimo, mora imong mora ang span sa imong knowledge kang Lord ba so. So, kanang magdepende gyud siya nga imong praise depends on who God is in your life. And let everything that has breath praise the Lord, no? Napay kanta nga nga if the stars are made to worship so will I, di ba? If ang stars they are made to worship, samot na kita, di ba? Ingnay mong katapad, mas guwapo pa ka sa star. Mas guwapa pa ka sa star. <laughs> Ingnay mong katapad, mas bright pa ka sa moon. So, moto, who, who, number one is who to praise. So, muna, no, praise the Lord. Number number two is where to praise. So, nadiri sa Psalms 151 pod nga, praise the Lord, praise God in His sanctuary. What is sanctuary? Sanctuary is heaven. And praise Him in His mighty firmament. So, sige, search ko ng firmament. Firmament is ka ng tangible. No? And, money diri ang earth. <laughs> Kadong doon sa tangible. So, ka ng, ang, we praise, mo praise ta ni Lord, diri palang daan sa earth. No? This is our practice. Musayaw na ta, musyagit na ta, Practice na ni nato diri sa earth kay ngano pagabot pitaw nato sa langit no mas bibo pa and mas haba pa diri symbol sa guitar dito sa langit kay kuan biya thunders and lightnings din ang mga angels dito kay mga ser- seraphim mga nana nga manggawas ra kalit ang mga instruments silang body no so this is our practice so we are here um we are here on earth to lift his name up so kana nga Nga, let's let's prepare ourselves good nga mo praise kang Lord nga diri padaan so if dili ka ka praise ni Lord diri unsa na lang ka sa langit so kung ambot lang dili pud ko ganan mo judge basta ka to practice gyud nato ang atong ato ang selves nga mo praise ta naap na bal ay nga mintras na apa ta diri sa earth so motoy number 2 no um, where to praise and number 3 is Why praise? Ano mong katapad? Nga, no. Nga, no. So, why praise? Number one, we praise God for what He has done. What He did to us. So, want to know, um, experience and testimony sa family. Sa family pa lang daan. Ng, I'm so blessed and such an honor to have this kind of family. And kanang grateful kay ko ni Lord. Gibutang ko niya ni nga family. Though it's not perfect. But we can see nga, God is working sa among family. And muna no, sa una nga, maglisod, maglisod pag bayad sa rent. Ana, and ahatagi, ah, oh, ahatagi gidala ni Lord, dako na kayo siya. Diligin ako siya ma-imagine nga, nga, wala man may business. Wala man may, kanang, wala man may ginabaligya si mama. Wala siya ginabaligya nga sa nina. Na, si papa, wala siya ginabaligya nga sa patos. But grabe ang blessings ni Lord. But, and And to say nga, it didn't, it, wala siya ga-depend sa inyong gipanghatag. It depend kung unsa, unsa ka-faithful atong pastors. So, moto no nga, why, why praise? Kaya nga naman, naa siya gibuhat para sa toa. Kita tanan, dili ka deny nga, wala may gibuhat si Lord sa toa. Kana pala yung ginhawa. Kung kuwaan ka ginhawa ni Lord, ambot na lang. So, kanang, nadri sa Psalms 18.3, I call up, I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised and I am saved from my enemies. So, kanang, even if naay mong mga enemies, praise the Lord. 
Kinsa may naikaaway diri. Oh, praise the Lord. So praise him in the middle of your mess and God will ch- God will turn your mess into message. So no si David na siya sa point nga nakasala siya and feeling ay murag kung sa isa ka tao feeling niya kay itom na kay siya. Kay Lord, dili na guru ka kakita na ako tungod sa kong gibuhat. No. Nakuha ko ni sa tong pastor nga naman to nag basketball mi din. Nangutana to si Kapipoy ba nga to nang na, namanggod toy ana ba nang bulagan din kanang murag bago pa siya din unsa man okay ra nga mo serve siya. So giingon ni pastor nga okay ra mas maayo kay ngano it's better nga imong imong while you are praising nga bahalag broken ka si Lord dili gid siya mo condemn dili siya mo dili siya mo dili siya mo ingon nga ikaw man good mo mangun niyang gibuhat mo mangun ni dili siya mo remind og sala sa imo ah. he will comfort you para ikaw mo change food and ang nakaayos man good kay kanang it doesn't depend kung unsa ato ang atong giagian kay ngano si Lord di, he is the god of impossible pwede niya papution ang pinakaitom nga sala and Kana, um, we are really blessed to have a Lord nga inana ba. Kaya kung, kung kinsa pa tong Lord-Lord yung tuhuan mo, rag, di na guru mo yung accept. So, wana, motto number one, no? Why praise? We praise God for what He has done. So, number two, we praise for who He is. So, kinsa man si Lord sa inyo, ah. Sige. So, who is Jesus to you? Example, Nam tay kanta no nga. Katong gikanta na to ganina because of who you are. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Na 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 na. No. So because of who you are. Um I will na 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 na. na. Worship you because of who you are. So wala lang ka nagworship sa iya ah. Tungod kay nasay gibuhat sa imo. But we need to worship ang atong same response sa pag sa pag Praise sa iya ah, nga natin na dawatan, dapat same food siya, same food atong praise sa iya ah, kung unsa siya sa atong life. So, we, muna, you praise God just like how you praise someone who, nga, sample, na, sample sa basketball, kanang, kanang magdula me, si, kuhan man gid, maayo man gid niya kung igagawas, kay Jabis, basta, basta mudula gid siya, musagi gid ko, gabi, yusak kay mudula, inana ba, so, ma, makuhan siya, so, kanang ang ang sot mang good kay kung kabalo ka sa gibuhat ni Lord ay eh, kabalo ka kung kinsa si Lord sa imo ah o praise gid kaniya pero kung wala ka kaila kung kinsa si Lord imposible gid nga maka praise kasi so kinsa may kinsa may mo praise example na ay someone nga ni aging a random nganong nganong i praise man imo siya kay wala man kaila ni mo ginana ba basta mo na to so I'll, nasa kanta al praise Cause you're sovereign, praise cause you reign, praise cause you rose and defeated the grave. I'll praise cause you're faithful, praise cause you're true, praise cause there's nobody greater than you. No, mogin atong declaration nga, I'll praise him because of who he is. Dilit lang kay na siya gibuhat para sa toa, but i praise na to siya kay tungod siya na. He is our maker, no? He is the one nga. Mutabang sa toa ah. nga katong times nga walay walay ni tabang sa toa ah. walay ni answer sa tong call walay ni walay ni walay ni balos sa tong mga text siya ang naa perminti and it's up to us nga mumduol saya so motto number two no we praise for who he is number three we praise him because we are still living as long as we are breathing ay lagi motto nga nga As long as I'm breathing, I've got a reason. Muna, no? Muna ang lyrics, no? Nga. Nga. As long as naapatay giginhawa, natay rason. Nga mo praise pa kang Lord. So, kinsay ka ginawa? Patay na. Iuban nga wala na. Kinsay ka ginawa? Maka na. Ginawa tanan, oy. So, mo to. So, number four sa sa points na to is how to praise. So, na rin sa Psalms 150 verse 3 to 6. Praise him with sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the lute and harp. Praise him with the with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and flutes. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Let everything that has praise, last breath, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, 
no matod pa ni pastor nga nung naa instruments so si lord na siya gihimo niya ang instruments maka para sa kwa bitaw ang music nagid siya nagid siya spirit kay kung magadungog kung music magana bedenta no mga every time mag ministering si pastor dapat nagi keyboard magdagandagan yun si Jer para para ma feel good ang ministering a part sa sa sermon so Ganong ganong na may ganong na may instruments. So, wala no example good is katong kang David. Si David um na siya gigamit katong harp and katong story na si Saul, King Saul, mag nakuanan siya og kanang evil mag na nasudlan siya kanang evil nga nga spirit ba nga na murag bitaw lain na ang pag lain na ang heart ni ni Saul, ni King Saul. And then pag play ni David sa harp ang anointing ni flow and pag pagpasok niya sa sa heart ni ni Saul na change so inana ka powerful so it doesn't mean nga naa kay playing instrument you're still you're also the instrument but you, you use yourself to praise God so and second example is katong ka Jehoshaphat so katong time ni lang Jehoshaphat nga na naay naay gubat din ingon si Lord nga nga ipauna tan ang worship team no Unsa kay expectation no kung ipauna guro ang drums kay apak kog stick, apak kog cymbals ang naong sa kontra marina na apak guitar at keyboard. Nana no but ang command ni Lord is praise and moto na ang, ang mga kalaban kay murag na confuse sila then nag nag inuyan inu, nag basta kanang ga nagunay sila nga nagaway-away so muna and sec I th- lastly is the wall of Jericho and power kay nino and moto nga ang gi-command ni Lord nga nga mo mulakaw lang sila sa sa wall of Jericho seven days and pagkalasan mo shout sila so nadre sa lyrics nga nga I'll praise you I praise when I feel it and I'll praise when I don't I'll praise cuz you I know you're still in control cuz my praise is a weapon it's more than a sound oh my praise is the shout that brings Jericho down so our praise can can break our walls in life so no natay natay mga sa sa tong life natay mga mga kalisod no praise lang ayo mo hadlok kay ano man no naay uban sa tuad dre nga nianhi sila nga ga ga, ga, ga gubot pa sila ga ga, ga sta gani ga wrestling pa sila sa devil naay nianhi dre nga ga fight pa sila sa ilang depression sila anxiety and they have ju- they just have a 30 to 1 hour nga mo praise kang lord and grab that opportunity nga nga lord mo praise ko sa imo balag akong gibiyan akong trabaho sa balay mo praise ko sa imo balag na koy gi fight nga nga struggle sa kong kinabuhi so god will do the rest so if you do your job god will do his so makakon so kung kung baguhan pa mo nganong 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 na may instruments kanong saba man gyud no sa so, matod pa sa kong giingon ganina no mas saba pa ug mas hayag pa sa langit so practice rin ni dire padaghanay lang yung lights no kung mahayagan mo dire samot na sa langit no thunders and lightnings ba didto masaba din maganaana no nabala mo then pagaw man kay nganong mo praise man si ay nganong mo lift man sila sa ilang hands kay nganong man they need Jesus they need Christ nganong mo anam sa Lord I praise you no kung makita ni Lord ba nga murbi ta siya celebrity nga ni ana kung makita ni Lord wala lagi ni siya nag kwansa ko ay wala lagi ni siya nag picture picture nga example celebrity celebrity Lord magana biya ka oh go Lord go Lord kung makita ni Lord nga wala lagi ni siya nag kwansa ko ay waguro ni kaila sa ko ah so ina na ang murag ina na ang thought ba nga diri sa earth kaila man ta kay, kita as church kaila man ta ni Lord atong ihatag tan, atong ihatag ang pinakakusog nga praise kang Lord so muna no natay national anthem moto ang praise nga kanta sa una sa una sa sa, sa elementary pa pag ihatod mini papa basta national anthem nagali mana gina si papa balag matagak na nang bag mana gid siya pero sa sa christian sa christian life lahi kumu ang national anthem gali is kanang na nagali kanta nga mo praise balag balag unsa ni yung gibuhat sagit kita ambak yun so, ako no testimony lang Lamit na kay mo ambak sa drums kung mag 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 celebration ito. <laughs> Masuya ko. Pero mo na nga 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 as a as a part sa worship team, we are leading you to praise God and moto nga nga um 
we are we are here nga ay ako ipasabot ninyo nga nung nga nung important man gyud magpraise ni Lord so narito sa prayer nga give us this daily bread so ako lang ni siya na kuan karon na nga nga nung daily bread man dili siya monthly dili siya weekly nga bread pwede man sa isa ka week nga bread ana daily bread it means you need God daily you need to praise him daily so ang atong praise say uh, mura pud nay makahatag og kusog no If you praise him, alangan magmo-praise ka nga sad ka. Kung mo praise gali ka nagi joy, nagi 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 peace sa imong sa imong kasing-kasing. And he is worthy gyud sa atong kinsa may motto diri nga worthy si Lord sa 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 atong sa atong pag-praise, di ba? So, nakoy nakoy pa-declare sa inyo ah, nga line, as long as I'm breathing, I've got a reason to praise the Lord. So, sige dungan ko. As long as I'm breathing, I've got a reason to praise the Lord. So, mora to. Thank you. Sige, in application, nindog tang tanan. Daigo na to ang gino. Okay? So, praise the Lord. Ing na yung katapad, kung ikaw na ay ginhawa, magdaig ka. You know, every one of us were created by God. Ang una yun may ikson, to really worship God. Sa Romans chapter 12, verse 1, ningon na ito, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. Present your bodies. No, presenting your bodies is an act of worship. So mo nang, ang atong kinaboy, daghay mga tao nga, pagwapuho na ito itong lawas, pagwapo ta, pagwapo ta, para ma-please ang mga tao. But dapat ibura na sa itong otok, na ang atong pagpagwapag, pagkagwapo, para ni kay Lord. Amen? Amen. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. Amen? Come on, let's just raise hallelujah. Are you ready, church? Are you ready to raise a hallelujah? Yes, we praise you, Lord! Come on! Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey. I'll raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. Amen. I'll raise a hallelujah Louder than the unbelief I'll raise a hallelujah See my weapon, see my weapon is a melody I'll raise a hallelujah Come survive for me And I'm gonna sing In the middle of this storm Louder and louder You're gonna hear my praises roar And I'm from the ashes Hope will arise Death is defeated The King is alive Hallelujah 
So when we say sing, you sing. When we say praise, you praise. When we say shout, you shout. And when we say roar, you roar. Amen. Why don't you sing? Sing a little louder. Shout a little louder Can say gusto more. Okay, right now, motto first set, no manata sa first set. Uh, so we decided. Uh, Oni atong, atong flow karon sa atong culmination sa week of fire. Because I do believe, daghay mga Christian, uh, Christian sila, but when it comes to praise and worship, bisag pagpakpak gahi kay sa ilaha. There was one time uh, when I was in Bible school. Kanabi daw ang bahalag, kanabi daw ang magpakpak, di ba? I'm gonna sing. Anam na, ang kuwan na saktong rhythm. So, na ako yung classmate yun nga. Basta on saon niya, pakpak, dili, dili siya ka-timing sa rhythm. Pero ginana ba? I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm. Pero ginana daw mo tanaw, maglisod mo kayo, pakpak yun siya. So, muna yung karun may igsoon, again, let the word of God direct our steps. Kay nindot yun, nga kita may ikson. Makaibalo yun ta. Nga nung mupakpak, nga nung mulokso. Kay kumingon ang worship leader, come on, jump, jump, jump. Kung makadto ka sa ubang simbahan, na muingon, okay, manglokso ta. Ang uban, di manglokso, muingon sila nga, wordly, mga kainay nga simbahan. But I want you to know, kung gishare ni Choy Choy, 
Nga ang music makes on is not just a music, but music is a spirit. Nga nung spirit man, bisag dili ka musician, bisag dili ka kabalo, mukanta or yabag ka, makadungog lang kag music makes on, na vibration sa imong kwan niya. Magkanaanak din yung kamot ay. Anak ba? Kay, gusto na ako ipasabot sa inyo, music comes from the Lord. Gidistort lang na sa demonyo, nga para mismo ang, ang demonyo, no, I, kuan niya, gamito niya music para daghan kayo, nga mo, mo worship sa demonyo, my son. But ladies and gentlemen, ang gakreate yun sa music is si Lord. Amen? In fact, matuta sa langit na ay sirobim o chirapim din to, nga ang iyang lawas, tibok music, na mga instruments ba, na isa ka angel din to, nga tulok, upat kabok iyang, iyang face, four faces, and then unom kabok iyang pako, then iyang pako na punog mga mata, o manggawas every time, mo worship sila, manggawas ang mga instruments. So inaana na sa langit, mo nang ang ginoo, gamiton yun niya, nga ang mga instrument para mo encourage sa toa pag to really worship the Lord. Amen. Moingon ta pastor, bisa gulay instrument, diday ta ka-worship, maka-worship man gyapon ta. But kita, naman ta instrument, nagpalit ta mo igsoon. So mo nang ang mga worship team, ila gining gihaguan nga mag-practice gyud sila para ikaw ug ako maaser pag ta sa presence ni Lord. Amen. So kung kamo di mo kayo mo pakpak, di mo magpataas kaayo, musayo. So inam katapad. It's time to dance. Okay? So right now, without further ado, uh, we will be educating, learning about nga nung mupakpak ta, nga nung mukanta ta, nga nung mubaw down ta, nga nung mulift up ta sa hands, my soul. So, of course, let us uh, help us welcome, my soul, my firstborn daughter, si Jackie Abigail. Okay? At itong pakpaka na ginawa, my soul. Koan, before ko mag-start, pay attention lang sa screen kay need ang ang tag-iya na na car. So, hi everyone! So, ako de ang second speaker for today. My name is Jackie. Ingun pa, tong pastor, I am her first, first, <laughs> firstborn daughter. <laughs> Na-combine na ako, sorry. So, Naninon. So, dili jud ko kanang public speaker. Pakanta lang ko ninyo, ayaw lang ko ninyo, Pastor Ria. <laughs> but, no, kanang, but, kanin siya na opportunity, gihatag ni sa kung at, atong pastor. So, thank you, Pas. Thank you, Papa. Uh, labi pang. So, kanin, ang akong topic karon so praise with, praise Him with instruments, man, ganin na ang topic. So, akong topic karon is, Worship. So, pwede mapakita in front ang title na worship. So, kaning worship, kaning it has been murag kanang a kind of a topic na ginastudy na ko for almost more than eight years because kanang ever since gihatagan ko sa opportunity and the responsibility of being a back up and worship leader parts of worship team you know study study jud ang worship because worship isn't just singing it's more than that it's having that um a relationship with god that kind of communication and it's it's being able to lead people to usher people into his presence and that for me is worship leading and so i think nakanang naapog ko ma share sa inyo uh, about worship and so, ang gibutang diri na kanang uh, definition of worship is it is the feeling or expression of reverence and adoration for a deity. So, pakita lang ang meaning. So, again, it is the feeling or expression of reverence and adoration for a deity. So, kung kag... Uh, Daiti, so it is God. So, wala man tayo lain ginawag si Madri. So, it is God. And and it is an expression. It is um, expressed through uh, words, maybe actions, and maybe thoughts. And um, so, if may ngayon kong expression of adoration, it is, no, ka na may kag, I adore you. So, you you say that you, lo- you love the Lord. You, you honor Him. 
and there's no one else like him for you. So, ina na ang adoration na pinangga ni mo si Lord. So, kanang, I think the best way to practice this this kind of worship is to really be rooted in the Word. So in my experience, the more I study the Word, the more I can learn sa mga ways on how to worship God, on how to, on what to, ex- how to express no, to God my worship. So it is an expression of adoration. And again, it is an expression of reverence. So when say reverence, ang reverence para sa ako is respect and it is honoring um, some people say it may, it may be kanang kag fear, but it's not like the kind of fear na afraid. I think the the, the best way to um, explain this is na remember ko every time I explain si Kuya Jair, si Kuya Jair na um, ato ang keyboardista bana ni Hati Cecil, papa ni Rin Rin. So, ni, ik, <laughs> ni explain siya, ni explain siya sa reverence no, na Ang iyang pag-explain na sa reverence is gi-revere niya sa ati Cecil, gi-revere niya yung wife. And so, ang meaning na, mahadlok siya sa yung wife. Dili, hadlok na, scared siya. But in it in a context where bahalag na ay lain babae na mukuan sa iya, pero gi-revere man niya yung yes, asawa, gi-respect man niya yung asawa. So, dili niya tanawon ang uban niya, na yung asawa. So, mo, mo na ang reverence, it is respect. It is honoring, it is saying that, Lord, there is no one else like you for me. Wala jilain, balag mga wala ang tanan, ikaw rajud, ang ako ang gikuptan. So that is reverence, that is respect. And in my own, in my own, um, kanang, so palihog ko sa timer media, wala ko kitag timer din. So in my own, um, kanang definition, like this week for this past week na nakoan ako na kanang the more i listen to the holy spirit ningon ningon ang holy spirit sa ako na worship is saying god i respond to you so mayen ka god i respond to you because the king is always calling out for us the king the king is always loving us he is always pursuing us kanang ma remind bitaw ka na wala ka devotional mo na ang Murag ka ng pag ni Lord sa imo. Nak, ahanawang ka. Maging storyan ako ni mo or wala ka ka pray. So, ma-remind ka na, hala, wala di ka ka pray. So, that is the king. No, ka ng pursuing you. He is, Lord, nak, wala lagi ka ga-worship sa ako lately. So, muna ang pag sa king sa imo akay. Sige siya, pangita ni mo. And worship is your response to that calling. Worship is your response to God. It is your response na ka ng, Aware ka ba na naa si Lord ani na room and so I will worship him. Naa si Lord naghulat sa ako so I will worship him. Naa si Lord naghulat sa ako mag devotional ko so mag devotional ko. So it is worship. So daghan kayo ways na mo express sa worship. And but the worship that we are um, trying to learn today is kanang worship na mani ka dere din mag worship ka you lift up your hands and you sing to the Lord. So mo na siya ang kind of worship na ato ang gina learn today. So in Psalms one fifty six one fifty six Psalms one fifty six nengon dere let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And so mo ni siya ang Ato ang na-learn po ganina kay Chichi, no? So, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And, ang ako ang pag-explain ani is, si Lord ang gahatag sa ato ag breath. That his, ex- that his, his expression of love for us. That every day, He gives us breath in our lungs, no? And so, our response to that is we open up our mouth and worship. Now, I remember ko sa, sa worship na, It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out a praise to you, Holy Lord. So, kanang marag mo respond ta, na nafak ba na, lagi no, si Lord ba nang gahatag sa akong breath every day? Si Lord ang gahatag sa akong time na mo mubuhat sa ako ang work, sa ako ang passion, sa akong kuantanan, si Lord ang gahatag sa akong sunshine, sa ako grain, din. daghan kay siya gihatag sa, sa ako. So, ang imong response anang expression sa iyang love is worship. So, muna no, kanang, muna, ah, na-learn man na to unsa ang worship. So, in this, in, in this, um, word, maghatag ko ninyo nine expressions of worship. So, how do we express worship? 
So, nine expressions, there are three main number of expressions din na apoy three below them. So, three times three, nine. So, kaya no, ang math. So, nine nine expressions of worship. And the first, like, kanang sub subtitle is spoken voice. So, ano siya? Spoken voice. So, under spoken voice, of course, number one, an under spoken voice is speaking, obviously. So, speaking. Kanang, it's quite simple siya, no? But, kaning ningon sa Psalms 34, 1, I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. And so, how do we practice this? I think, like, in... Um, to maintain integrity bitaw kay kana bitaw balag ikaw ra isa sa imong kwarto kay balag wala na kakita nimo kay mo praise gyapon ka sa Ginoo kanang makaya ba ninyo na balag ma, mapandol ang inyo ang kanang toe di ba sakit nun kay na din ang imo ang gyapon na hey praise god kanang di ba ambot simple kay siya pero sa ako kay say kay mag struggle gyapon ko kay lahi gyapon ang wala <laughs> but kana no simple way kayo integrity balag wala na kakita nimo kay mo 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 kuan gyapon ka so bahala gola nakakita imong churchmates nimo kay kanang pleasant gyapon ang mo gawas imong baba kanang bahala gola ka sa church no so bahala gola nakakita nimo mo praise gyapon ka kay kabalo ka bahala gola nakakita ang uban tawo nimo makakita man si Lord nimo so makakita jud si Lord every time you don't worship him through your speaking so, diba, number one, spoken voice. Under that, speaking. Next, under sa spoken voice is shouting. So, shouting. And, kaning ang verse ane is Psalms 27, 6. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his tabernacle will I sacrifice with shouts of joy. And will sing and make music to the Lord. And, Kanino, I imagine this verse, kanabit ang bag-ura ka, nadaog sa imo ang battle, and nang imo ang gibuhat kay Mrag, Praise God! Nadaog na dyan ko! Kanina na bitaw, kanang, Praise God! Nadaog na ko, ang kanang, the war is over, God has given me victory. Wala may mo daog sa war, nang hala, nadaog na mi, yay! Kanang, diba? So, mo shout dyan ka, kanang ang imong expression, kanabit ang, kanang warrior bitaw na, Three days na ka nag-battle, pero pag, then pag humana na kay, ka nang, finally, you have won the war. And ka na siya now, ka na, it's kind of a battle cry. Ka na, whenever you worship, you come here with a sense na bahalag. Ka na, daghan kay na sa balay, but the fact na na ako diri karon, I have still won the war because of God. Ka na, inanap, ta, every time you enter the room, bahalag, daghan kong nagyan sa balay, but the fact na na ako diri na maka-worship, gapon ko sa gino, that is my victory. So you shout, no? You shout because God has given you that victory. And ang ako pong may Imagine ka na bitaw sa video games. Ambot ko, makarelate mo ka na video games. Kanabi tawag, mapildi more, madaog mo, diba? Grabe mag kayo mo. Kaya remember ko si Tim Tim, maglago ko kayo mo. Iyad yung iyan na ang table ba? So inanakta ka expressive sa video games, spiritual kay Lord, kay Dili, no? Inanak bitaw, grabe tawag mo siya git. Basta mapildi tawag sa gani kay mag-trash talk. Pero kay Lord, kay Dili tawag mo siya git. So grabe kayo siya na insulto. Inanak bitaw. And even ka nang nang night times na kanang shagita because of our desperation but kanang the best way ang ako jud maingon sa inyo is kanang the best way to really express all your desperation kana bitaw gikan ka sa gikan ka giaway gikan ka gi, gikan ka gi stress but when you enter into the room that is your opportunity to really express na lord no, I need you. Give me this victory. And that's why you shout. That's why you praise. That's why you open up your mouth. So, inana, no, kani ang shouting. So, moto ganina na nag-shout ta. So, next, under spoken voice, diba? Speaking, shouting, and lastly is singing. So, kani singing in Psalms 47, 6. Sing praises to God. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. So, kanang... Medyo na ano ka nang mag-sing ta, mag-make melodies. Balag, balag ka nang, balag, uh, feeling, balag maulaw kasi yung katapad, you should sing. Ano no, ang ako'y nabasa kay, akong favorite na worship leader sa Instagram is si John M. 
Thurlow. Murag, ako maning nasend sa worship team na GC. Ganan kay ko sa iyang gingon. Na sometimes insecure ta sa atong voice. That's why we don't sing. We are not confident with our voice. Ganahan ba o bang tao? So do sa worship team na just standard. But in reality, no, kanabita na kasi mo room or nakasa, na, nakakadira sa audience. no And you are given the opportunity to praise and sing to the Lord. Ayag ka ulaw sa imong katapad. Kay kana po ni mong katapad, ang iyang gil na na, si Lord mandili ikaw. And kanila akong maingon ni mo na, even though you are not confident with your voice, the Lord loves your voice. And so you will sing. Lo the Lord gave you that voice. No? The Lord gave you that voice. So bahalag yabag ka, <laughs> si Lord gya po nang gahatag sa imong tingog. And that's why you open up your mouth. Bahalag makadungog inyong katapad. Kika na po inyong katapad, si Lord man po na yang worship. So ayag ka ulaw sa imong katapad. You praise no, you open up your mouth and sing. And kana siya kanang um, it's it's very uh, kanang it's a nice way to use that instrument kay balag di kakabalo guitar balag di kakabalo na kuan but the instrument that is given to us since birth is our voice and so you use your voice amen ingnay mo katapad use your voice ingnay mo katapad the lo the lord loves your voice amen and so, nag-ena nag to ang section na spoken voice. So, di ba ang spoken voice kay speaking, shouting, and singing. And next sa to ang spoken voice, ang atong next subtitle is our posture. So, na our posture. So, what is the first kind of expression no, through our posture? Number one is bowing. So, bowing. And so in Psalms 95, 6, Come, let us bow down and worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. So bowing is, a, is an action, is an expression of reverence. Is, it is an expression of respect. Nang sa Koreans or even other Asian countries, basta gani mo greet sila, kay mo bow, na sila. Kanabita 90 degrees na bow, kay the more na deep imong bow, the more ka mag, kanan, the more kataas imong respect. So, kung respecta sa other people, no, mo respecta maybe sa ato ang mga, mga authorities, mo, mo, mo express po tag respect sa atong ginoo. So, we kneel and mo, mo luhod ta. And that's why some people, basta gani mo, basta gani, kung kayo ang, kusog kayo ang Holy Spirit sa room, kay makanil sila because they feel so reverent, no? They feel that kind of reverence for the Lord. They feel that kind of respect. Na kanang na feel nila na bugat ka ayong presensya sa gino. I need to. I need to bow down and I. I respect the Lord. So sometimes ma misunderstand sa mga tao na marag nagpahuli lagi nina mga tao ano nga bow manis la sa tubangan mga ano ko an marabit tag hysteric bitaw but kana ang mga tao na mo bow down bitaw it's not a sign of holiness it is a sign of respect to the Lord and it is a sign na Lord I am nothing without you it is a sign of surrender and so number one sa tong posture is bowing next sa tong posture is standing. And so, ang akong ma-explain na ni kay kanabita mo ko ang speaker. So, how do you respect a speaker na murag siya gi-announce siya? Di mo saka siya sa stage, di ba? Mo stand man ka. Or ka na mo sulod, mo enter ka sa room na naasa mo ang atubangan ng king. Di ba? Yung kapili mo lingkod lang kay disrespectful mo na siya. So, standing is also a sign of respect. So, in Psalms 119, 120, My flesh trembles in fear of you. I stand in awe of your loss. So, muna ang standing. So, that's why, kanang, uh, kanabitang, sometimes, man good, uh, I think, for me, you know, remember ko si Papa, whenever he prays, night times, na dili na, dili na niya kaya mo, mulingkod kay dira man good madistract man good siya or makatulog basta mulingkod but instead kay mo tindog siya wal magpray kay para ang yang focus is na kay nasa kay, na kay Lord nasa Lord na yang gi pray ba so muna muna ang standing so bowing standing and next is dancing so ready na ba mo sayong ya so, balag dili ka dancer, masayaw ka. So, what, Psalms 149.3 Let them praise Him with dancing and make music to Him with tambourine and harp. So, nana sa biblical ang pagsayaw 
no? Para sa Ginoo. Balag dili ka kabalo sa steppings, musayaw ka. Parehas na ako. <laughs> kay dili jud ko dancer pero musayaw jud ko kay that's it, that is my expression to the Lord na musayaw jud ko para sa Ginoo. Na kanayog ka ulaw na kanbitang. I think ang ako encouragement ata later is either mo adto mo sa atubangan para na mo space mo saya or kanang mo spread out mo ba kay para na space mo saya but do not no do not be shy kay imong audience dili man imong tapad ayaw imo ag audience imong tapad imong audience dapat si Lord kay kung ka remember po ko si John M Thurlow ya pun gay ngana ni na if the the person you are most aware of while you are worshiping is the person you are worshiping so If you are worshiping God, but ang person na imong pinaka aware of kay imong tapad, mora ka ga worship sa imong tapad kay ga worship ka sa gino pero ang grabe ka ka, ka, ka sensitive na kung katapad nakakita na ko dapat ka na inani ko so dili ra ba imong tapad imong imong gi worship si Lord baya so no do not be shy just worship the Lord just praise him just dance for him so ready na ba mo sayaw later guys amen So that is our last atong posture. So atong posture is bowing, standing, and dancing. So that is how we worship the Lord. So lastly, we express our worship. No, next, pinaka last na subtitle is our hands. So ganisha no. Number one under our hands is playing instruments. No, in Psalms 33:23, praise the Lord with a harp. Make music to Him on the ten-string lyre. Sing to Him a new song. Play skillfully and shout for joy. So, katong gingo ni Church ba? Mopod ni ako ang ginot. Uh, ano na section na? Ka remember ko si David when he he used his um, harp no para magworship kay nang gawas tanan demonyo ni Saul. So kanang mga instruments lagi nagihatag ni Lord sa imo kanang talents nagi himo gihatag ni Lord sa imo a. Uh, muna sa imong gamit pang praise and worship. So it's not just instrument na musical instruments but maybe imong instrument ka imo ang creativity sa graphic design or maybe imo ang na other talents nimo because that is your instrument to praise the Lord even ako sometimes if na ako ay music na ganahan kay ko na worship music bitaw din ganahan ako mo worship so bahala di ko kabalo mo guitar kaayo maler i learn ako ang chords day mag worship ako sa akong kwarto ina na baka nang very simple kung ganahan ka mag learn og instrument para lang mag worship sa Gino sa imong room pwede jud na nimo mabuhat pero kana no that is your expression to the Lord kay kanang talents na gihatag sa imo ni Lord marbitog mo pud na yang gift sa imo ah, and that respond to that na gift of love na gihatag sa imo ni Lord is your worship so next is clapping so first is playing instruments and next is clapping So Psalm 47:1 clap your hands all you nation shout to God with cries of joy. Kay say bitaw kaning say kay kana mga tao sa church kay murag feeling nila bitaw kung mag, magpakpak sila kay sakit bitaw kayo kay dito sila mamakpak. So ang pakpak baya it's your expression of praising and worship to the Lord. So inana no suki mamakpak ta. Yes Lord we praise you. Hallelujah. No, it's quite a simple thing. It's like, eh, magpakpaktak, ba, basta natay tanawon na salida, magpakpaktak, na, basta natay tanawon na, na, na concert. Pero dili lagi tama magpak para sa ginoo. Diba ka nang, opposite kayo, ka nang, it's very, insu, insulto na po na kung kuan kay si Lord ba yan, ang hatag sa imog hands. Si Lord ang hatag sa imo mga tanan, na imong, everything that you possess right now comes from the Lord. And ka nang expression of clapping hands, it's, kanang it's very simple and kana ano encourage ta mo na ayaw kadlo pakpak balag out of rhythm inyo ang pakpak ayaw kadlo kay dili lagi inyong audience kay inyong katapad inyong audience kay si Lord amen kay kanang uh, na remember ko in a verse I, i forgot i forgot the verse kay na remember ko na whenever you clap it is a double edged sword na mag defeat sa enemy and so whenever you clap your hands bitaw whenever you praise god whenever you clap your hands you are showing the enemy na mm, dili no kanang wala kay wala kay wala kang laban sa akin na ako'y ginoo no na ako'y ginoo nagi praise and worship karon so you clap your hands and so lastly sa atong hands na subtitle so di ba number one is playing instruments clapping and then lastly lifting hands so the lifting up of hands and psalms 
um, 63.4, I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name, I will lift up my hands. And so, kaning lifting up of hands, it is a sign of surrender. Na Lord, dili na ko kaya. Lord, I praise you. Wala dyan yung lain na kung i-worship, I surrender, O God. Bahalag daghan kay kog trouble sa balay. Bahalag ka ng maybe distracted ko karon lord kay daghan kay nahitabo before ko niyan hidiri but i surrender lord i surrender i praise you i worship you so that is why you lift up your hands amen so that is your sign of worship uh, expression of worship to the lord you lift up your hands and so muna siya ang ang last no i encourage you to really um to really kanang be unashamed in worshiping the lord because the lord no searches for people who will worship him in spirit and in truth mo na ang ginapangita ni lord and so our response to the lord that is pursuing us always no kay ginapursue ba ta permitting lord wala jud wala jud time na dili mangita si lord sa ato and our response to that searching god na nagsearch og people na mo worship saya in spirit and in truth is our expressions of worship amen so are you ready to worship are you ready to worship the Lord? Are you ready to worship the Lord? So come on, let's stand up. Spirit of God is in this place. His presence is in this place. And so we worship, worship Him. One church, open up your mouth. Sing melodies to the Lord. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. We honor you, O God. We adore you. We revere you, Lord.
children will worship you. Your children will praise you. Lord. Holy, holy is the Lord. I love you, Lord. It's no
Expect- 
king we call upon the king we worship to expect the king we worship to welcome the king we worship to welcome the king we worship to say hosanna 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 in the highest 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 hosanna hosanna we worship the king we welcome the king of so to receive him we want to receive the king we want to receive the king oh we worship to receive to receive the king to him who am I not to love the king who am I who oh. yes we respond 
respond to you, Lord. We respond to you. This is our response to you. This is our response to you. This is how we say we love you, Lord. This is how we adore you, Lord. Cause who am I not to worship you? Is the highest your name is the greatest your name stands above them all all thrones and positions all powers and dimensions your name stands above them all Jesus your name the highest your name is the greatest your name stands above them all all thrones and dominions all paths and positions your name stands above them all
sing you will always be 